In today's video, we are going to talk about C versus C++ versus C Sharp versus Java. Difference between C, C++, C Sharp and Java. Myself, Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, C, C++, C Sharp or Java are some of those languages that we consider to go with as beginners. But there are some major differences among all these languages. I will talk about all these languages based on the common features and we'll see which one is more powerful and which one is better one to start your programming journey. So first of all, if we talk about the origin, well C is based on assembly language. C++ is based on C language and C Sharp is also based on C language. Well, if we talk about Java, Java is based on C and C++ as well. If we talk about the time of their development, C got developed in 1972, C++ got developed in 1979, C Sharp got developed in 2000 and Java got developed in 1991. So C Sharp is the younger of them all. If we talk about the translator these languages use to interpret the code into the machine language, well C uses a compiler, C++ also uses a compiler and C Sharp also uses a compiler. But Java use interpreted language and in interpreted language Java use compiler as well as interpreter. If we talk about the programming paradigms of all these languages, well C is a procedural language. And then C++ follows object-oriented programming paradigm. C Sharp also follows the object-oriented programming. But if we talk about the Java, Java is pure object-oriented programming language. C++ and C Sharp follow some of the paradigms of object-oriented programming. But Java is pure object-oriented. If we talk about the platform dependency, well C is platform dependent. C++ is also platform dependent. C Sharp is not platform dependent, it is platform independent. Although its syntax is similar to C and C++ and it is also developed by Windows. But still, it is platform independent and that shows how powerful C Sharp language is. Then if we talk about the Java, obviously Java is the platform independent language. If we talk about the code execution, well, code of C programming language gets executed directly. Same goes for C++ and in terms of C hash, its code also gets executed directly. Then if we talk about the Java, its code gets executed by JVM. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. So Java uses a virtual machine to execute its code. If we talk about the file generation, well, C programming files have .exe extension. C++ programming files also have .exe extension, but C Sharp programming files have .cs. And if we talk about the Java, we have .class files. In terms of pointer, let's see if we have pointers available in these languages or not. Well, C programming language supports the pointers. C++ also supports the pointer. But if we talk about the C-sharp, it supports the pointer on a limited scope. A C-sharp pointer is nothing but a variable that just holds the memory address of another type. But in C-sharp, pointer can only be declared to hold the memory address of value types and arrays. So we can say that we have limited scope of pointers in C-sharp language. If we talk about the Java, Java does not support pointers because it is powerful without it and it can do anything and it can also perform those functions that you can do with the help of pointers. So Java does not need to have pointers. Then we talk about if we have database connectivity in these languages, well C does not support database connectivity. C++ also does not support database connectivity. So what if you want to have database connected to your C or C++? Well, we have filing. 
we need to use filing with C or C++ in order to have some sort of database. If we talk about C Sharp, while well, database connectivity is available in C Sharp. Then at the end, if we talk about Java, well, obviously Java supports the database connectivity. Let's talk about exception handling. While C does not support exception handling, but C++ supports it, C Sharp also supports exception handling, and obviously Java supports exception handling. If we talk about templates, well, we do not have any template available for our C language, but in C++, we have some of the templates that we can use. In terms of C Sharp, we do not have any template and same goes for Java. We do not have any template that we can use. We have to do everything on our own. And that's the beauty of Java and C Sharp. At the end, if we talk about the approach of these programming language, well, C follows top down approach. C++ follows bottom up approach. C Sharp follows bottom up approach as well. And Java also follows the bottom up approach. So these were some of the features that we have discussed with respect to all four languages. Now, if we talk about which language to choose to start your programming journey, I would recommend you to go with C and have your basics clear. And as you are done with learning all the basics, now you can move towards a bit complex but powerful languages. In my opinion, Java is the most powerful language of them all when it comes to areas where it is getting used today. If you learn Java, you can make Android applications, desktop application, and you will also be using it for other platforms like web. You can also use it with Python, etc. Let's have a small example of each programming language and let's see how they are different from each other and how the syntax looks like. So I will start with the C and I'm using an online compiler. I will not create a program here. I will use and I will go with the default programs or you can say with the simplest of them which will just print a simple word. As you can see here in C, first of all we have included a library. Then we have our main function and in our main function we have simply called print statement and in that print statement we have a message. If you run this program, here we have an output that is called as hello world. That was all about the C. Now I'll use the same program for my C++. So I will just change the language from here and I'll go with the C++. This is how it looks like in C++. First of all, we have included a library. Then we have used using namespace std. std means standard. If you do not call it here, you have to use it everywhere in your program. Well, here we have again main program and in our main program, we have our message that says hello world. If you remember in C, we were using print F statement, but in C++, it says C out. In case if you want to take the input from the user, we will use C in. So we will write here C in and then we'll take the input from the user. For output, we use C out and we also have to return our program into C++. So we have already seen the difference between C and C++, but the syntax is more or less same. Let's say if you want to declare a variable in your C++, you just need to call it here int a. You can give any value to your variable. Let's have another variable and I will call it as int b equals 20. And in case if I want to add both of these, I will just call it here int c equals a plus b and I can print it and same goes for C programming language in that you will also declare your variable just like that. Now I will just get out of this and this time I'll go for C sharp. So I'll just change my language from here and here it is. I will just click on it. So this is C sharp and we are going with the same program as we have only one message that says hello world. But if you see that how many libraries we have included, it says using system, then we have collections, link, and then we have text, regular expression library. And if you see, we are using namespace hello world. And as you can see, we are using a class in here. And in our class, we have our method with the name of main. And in that main, we are passing some strings arguments. If you see and notice, 
we did not have any type of classes in C or C++ but as soon as we have shifted toward the C sharp now we are using the concept of classes this is one of the major difference between C C++ and C sharp and as you can see we are also using main method in which we are passing some strings arguments and for print statement we are using console.writeline instead of printf or c out so this has just got changed but if we talk about the variable declaration that is again same we just need to write here int a equals 10 at the end write your semicolon so this will go same just like c or c plus plus declaration of variable will not change but syntax of other programming paradigms like how you can print your statements how you can define your classes is just a little bit different now at the end let's see and let's check how it will look like in java so i'll just change my language and i'll just go to my java which is right here so this is my java program and java has also included some of the libraries and here it says import java.util.static static means it has included all the libraries that were necessary then again we have our main class just like the c sharp and in main class we have our main method and again we are passing some of the strings argument and after that we have created a method for date that will return the current date and time to our system after that we have a print statement in which we are passing a message that says hello world and after that we have another print statement in which we are asking the system to return the current time and date and if you see here we are not using c out print f or console dot write line in java we use system dot out dot print ln you can also use print but here it is using print ln mean print on line and then it will go on to the next line so we have seen the major difference in here after that if i run my program here it says hello world and now it is returning me the current date and current time from my system so how cool is that and again, if you want to see how you can declare your variables, let's say I want to declare a variable with the name of X and I want to give it a value of 10. So this is how you can declare your variable. Same goes for string variables. I will just call it string. I will call it as A and I will pass the value as skills build. So we are good to go. So the variable declaration is again same in all of the four languages but other programming paradigms and other programming concepts are very much different from each other as we have seen till now and that brings us to the end of today's video please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we'll get back to you in the next video till then take care